Okay, we're planning some videos on pop-ups mainly because we've done them before but we do get asked about them and we see questions cropping up. This is just about your basic, basic pop-up that you're going to do with Elementor and Elementor Pro, I must stress that out. Now, the best way to do it is to go over to your WordPress uh, dashboard, go to templates and you can click on pop-ups over here and then you can get started or you can go straight into templates. Okay, let's just go to all over here. And you could click add new and pick a pop-up. Okay, so if I click add new and go here and I'm going to pick pop-up like that, I'm going to call this one a uh, pop one. Give it a proper name, okay, whatever you want to call it because you might end up with loads of pop-ups and it's difficult to find them. Let's click create template. Now Elementor will give you some examples that you could use. Um, I'm just going to do a very, very basic one. If I'm honest, I'm just going to close that down and we have got a blank page. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type form. Let's pretend you've got a pop-up with a subscription form in maybe. So let's just get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, oops, no, get rid of the message. There we go. Pretend it's something really, really simple. And you might add in an image. You might add something else in as well. So you can be quite creative with what you do. The key thing, though, to bear in mind, though, is that when you are in your section or your column or however you've got it, just make sure you set your sizing. So you might decide, right, the content in here is going to be, say, 400 pixels. Maybe something like that. And I am also going to give this a bit of padding as well. So I'm going to go with something like uh, 50 and 50. I'm keeping it really, really simple here at the moment. Now, once you've done your styling in your section and whatever else you drop into here, you know, the content and anything else, there might be a button or something else, even a shop item. So we're going to click the settings, okay? Now, this is where a lot of this stuff for the pop-up is actually present in terms of the settings. It's a bit of a weird one because you would have thought, well, it's already going to be a tab somewhere, but no, it's actually in the settings. So here we go to pop-up uh, settings. <laughs> I keep saying that. Even though we set the width of this to be 400 pixels, this now will determine, well, how big is the actual pop-up? So if I go with something like, say, 500, that is now the size of the pop-up. So I'm going to go with 500. I could go with uh, 100 like this, which would be full width. If you go with 100 uh, WV, let's just put this down to, in fact, let's just put it down to about 50. There we go, go with 50% of the width. You can also decide on what is the position. You see how easy that is, left, right, or have it in the center. You could even have it at the top or even the bottom. So you could go with something, actually, that's not a great place. There we go. You could even put it somewhere like that in uh, the bottom as well, corner. Are you going to have an overlay? Look, you take the overlay off, there is no overlay. You're going to have an overlay? We have an overlay. And also, are you going to have a close button, which you can clearly see over there? How will it appear? Loads of animation options. I'll go with fade in, and when it exits, we'll go with fade out. So when you hit the cross, it fades out and it fades in. Pretty simple. 1.2 is quite slow for an animation, so I'm going to set this to be about 1.7. 1.7, 1.8 is one of my favorites when it comes to that. If we go to general settings, there isn't really much you need to do here. That's it, really, just the layout. Now, the style, you could now decide you want to put on some radius or something like that. I'm not going to do that. But the key one, really, is the overlay. So you might want to put an image in the background, maybe. Or you could change the color. You could make it darker as well. Or just change it completely. You know, go go for whatever style you want to go for there. Let's just give it a bit of a darkish, purplish color, something like that, right? But remember, you can pick an image. Now, the close button, you can also style this as well. So you can make it bigger like that. You can also define the color of it. So let's just give this a, let's go with that purple there. And you can also mess around with the positioning of it as well. Okay, like I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just messing around here, here, yeah. You would obviously do it a bit more scientifically. Now, the key bit, though, after you've done that, is the advanced tab. We're still in pop-up settings, okay? It's just going to close automatically. So maybe this appears as soon as you land on a page, and then it closes after two or three seconds. You don't want it to be there spoiling what people see on the screen. Or well, does it close automatically? Sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. Does it automatically close after some seconds, or does the close button... Um, appear after certain seconds. So let's say I put on three. That close button won't appear until three seconds have passed. I do not recommend doing this because as a user, I hate it when they delay the facility for me to just close and get out of this. I really hate that. So don't do that. Prevent closing on overlay. So if I kick it, click here, it will close. I'm going to take that off. Prevent closing on escape key, I'll take that off as well. Disable page scrolling, I'll take that one off as well. 
and avoid multiple pop-ups. Now, I'm not going to touch the margins or the padding over here, and basically, that's kind of it to an extent. Now, the minute you hit publish, you will see this, conditions, triggers, and advanced rules. So, are we going to add a condition? Is this going to be on the entire site or only on particular pages? It might be that you only want this on the home page. So you'd go over here, go to singular, go to pages. I mean, over here, you're going to put, say, home or whatever you want to put there, and it should find it for you. Or you might just say this is going to be applicable on across the site. So I'm just going to say entire site. Now, you could also not do any conditions, triggers, or advanced rules. I want to let you know this. You could skip all of this and just hit save and close. You could do this. Just save and close. You don't need to do any of this at all because you're going to have a button or an icon that activates that pop-up. So you don't have to do this, but I just want to show you it. You also have the trigger. So is this going pop-up going to appear instantly when the page loads? And does it appear after, say, I don't know, uh, five seconds or something like that? Let's just deactivate that. Maybe it appears when you scroll. So you're 50% down the page and then it appears. And you can change the values as well, by the way. Maybe when you scroll to a certain element. So let's say you've got uh, an image, maybe somewhere on your page, right? And it's an image of fantastic offer. When you get to that, give it a class name and put the class name in here. When you get to it, the pop-up appears with a special discount, stuff like that. Uh, maybe when you click... Um, maybe, you know, when you click on the page or something, which is a bit of a weird one, I think, after inactivity or when they try to leave the page. I have to be honest, pop-ups like this, where they pop up when you try and leave a page are flipping annoying, okay? I don't care what anyone says, they're flipping annoying, so I never ever go for that. Then we have advanced rules as well, you know, how many times are you going to show it, um, how many times does it show up? hide for logged in users, blah, 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 show on certain devices, probably certain browsers, all of that. I mean, I really don't mess around with a lot of these. But anyway, right. So what we've done, I'm just going to hit save and close. So we haven't really set any conditions, okay? We are now going to go to this page over here. I'm just going to get rid of everything here. And I am now going to add in a button. Now, you could do this with a button or even an icon as well. So let me just go over to icon. You can basically do it to anything where you have the facility to open a pop-up. If we go to this button here, where it has a link, you would put in your URL for where that button goes to, to another page or another website. I'm going to delete that. In fact, you don't even have to delete it. You have what's known as dynamic tags here. If I click dynamic tags like that and you scroll down, you will see pop-up. Click that and then click the spanner or the wrench. And then over here, we have an action for open pop-up, close, or toggle. Let's go for open. And down here, I'm going to type pop. Because I've got tons on here, but here's the one we were just creating, pop1. This is a test website, by the way, which is why I have loads of ridiculous pop-ups on it. We're going to go for pop1. And that's literally it. What about the icon? Well, let's go to where it says link. Let's click the dynamic tag. Again, let's scroll down, pop-up. Let's uh, click the spanner or wrench go down here and let's just type pop one because we know the name and there we go. So now I hit update. Let's now preview this page. So if I click this, the pop up and look at the close button after three seconds. If I click here, nothing happens. I've got to click on the cross because I said do not close on the overlay. You click the icon again after three seconds, the close button appears. So it's a pretty simple way to do a pop-up. And you are not just limited to doing it this way, okay? I mean, anywhere where you can add in a link. So look, if I do a headline, right, like that, over here, link, let's click the dynamic tag, like that. Let's go to pop-up. Again, you pick your pop-up, you pick pop one, and it would be enabled. I hope you found that useful. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran Sadiq from Web Squadron. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.